What's going on guys? My name is Citizen of Newtown and welcome back to another gameplay commentary on the map turbine where I go 15-0 in four rounds using the MTAR assault rifle. Class loadout in the top right hand corner as I normally do. But in this commentary, first I really need to thank all you guys who came over from the S&D Elite channel. It really means a lot that you guys want to support me in my endeavors. I kind of want to watch some entertaining videos, whether it be for the commentary, for the gameplay, and all sorts of stuff like that. I hope to kind of fulfill all your needs and wants and desires, except for anything sexual. I will not do that for you. Nay, nay. Unless you got some money. But, uh, speaking of money and, uh, you know, things expensive, I want to talk to you guys about which consoles I'm going to be getting of the new generation. Because the PS4 and the Xbox One have been receiving a lot of information lately from E3 and other kind of sources about what's going to be on it, what gameplays are, what games are on it, and everything like that. And really, how is this going to affect me for Call of Duty Ghosts? And I'm going to say that I'm probably just going to stick with the Xbox 360 right now and just play on the old generation consoles. One, I really don't want to spend a lot of money on a new console, especially in the beginning of its life cycle. They tend to not have its uh, the full effects down yet. Like, what I mean is, um, when the Xbox 360 came out, uh, like the original version of it, it had a lot of issues with... Uh, the console's not working, getting red rings, stuff like that. And I don't really want to experience any of that difficulties right off the bat. Uh, the prices are a little expensive for me. $500 for the Xbox One, I believe, and 400 for the PS4. I believe those are the prices, correct me if I'm wrong. But I, eh, for that price, I might as well just get a good PC. Because it's a lot more multifunctional. And the only thing I'd really be missing out is uh, yelling at my Xbox, asking it what's trending on Twitter, what's trending on Pornhub, and all of that sort of shit. But, um, you know, PC, keyboard, and mouse is kind of better in the fact that uh, there's a lot less trolls playing, and I can play people who actually try and, you know, have more fun playing the game, hopefully. and have a little bit more challenge trying to learn how to play on the PC, stuff like that. I also think with the the new consoles coming out, uh, more of the hardcore gamers are going to move to the new ones, and the newbier players, let's call them that, will be sticking to the Xbox 360 or PS3, and it's going to be a little bit easier to get gameplays for you guys and bring possibly the best gameplays out there in Search and Destroy, which I always plan to do. I know it seems kind of scumbaggy, but, you know, I, I'm trying to be honest with you guys and uh, be very clear with my intentions, so I might as well just say that. Um, anything else that I really want to put is, uh, you know, I think the Xbox 360 works really well right now, and I don't really know. I, I can see that there being better things for like connection and all that good stuff, but uh, this is coming up to the end of the gameplay as I just got the last kill there. Hope you guys liked it. Like, favorite, subscribe, all that good shit. But my name is Citizen of Newtown, and I'm signing out. Peace, guys.